Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Rishad Shah, who's the Chief Executive Officer for Liquid Telecom. Rishad, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, uh, you've just been attending a, a session, the rise of MVNOs, and uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about digitalization uh, and uh, the Internet of Things. How do you see that uh, progressing in the next five years or so? I think digitalization for enterprises, for small to medium businesses, and importantly, for the telecommunications sector itself is a really, really a critical component in advancing what they do, how they do it, and what services get enabled for customers. Over the next five to 10 years, I mean, it's a long time to predict what's going to happen, but of course we're going to see a far greater detail of um, digitalization taking place, I think with some real business benefits now being materialized from digitalization. And tell me a little bit about Liquid Telecom. How are you involved in this? Landscape? Liquid Telecom is a uh, pan-African uh, fiber network operator and telecoms services provider. We operate in about 13 countries across the continent. We also operate uh, the largest independent fiber network operator uh, across the African continent. And uh, just yesterday, we actually launched what we call the One Africa Network, which allows us to connect from Cape Town to Cairo. And how are businesses going to benefit from the new landscape? The new landscape, of course, um, is hinged on, on a couple of key components. One being a data center capability, which enables cloud services to be taken to customers. The second is a high-speed network, which is, of course, a fiber network plays a critical role in that. And the third is a partnering uh, a approach to digitalization of the enterprise. And that's where we play really, really well in all three of those areas. And what do you think are going to be the major obstacles? I think obstacles there would be, uh, of course, realizing some of the business benefits sooner rather than later. So it's really about convincing the user of the service, convincing the business uh, of an organization, the business end of an organization, importantly, of the benefits and getting them to start adopting the solutions. And so the, the, the key opportunities, you think? I think the opportunity is really to service this demand that's out there across the African continent uh, for digital services and underpinned by cloud capability, which is where you know, we play a significant role. I think that is really where the opportunity is, is servicing that pent up demand. Right, now you're here at ITU Telecom World. I just wanted to find out what's uh, the value of you attending an event such as this. Of course, attending an event like this is a great platform for us to connect with uh, many of the partners that we work with today that we don't get to see on a regular basis, but we get to see them at an event like this. We get to connect with our global peers who are also playing important roles in digitizing not just the continent, but the globe. And what about uh, a message? You have a message, I'm sure you've been exchanging a lot of information and, uh, uh, and there are a lot of uh, participants here, but we've, we're going out to a wider audience as well. Have you got a message uh, for uh, the, the people who are watching this and listening to this? I think the message would be that the role Liquid Telecom is going to play on the African continent is one about bringing and enabling access to high-speed connectivity to every citizen. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.